Can you uh, do me a favor? Can you move the seat forward because it's it's hitting my knees at this point. Yeah, 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 no problem. Hold on. It's very uncomfortable. Is that better? Sorry about that. Well, there's no point in saying sorry. It was already, you know, it was already pushing on my knees. But that's what most of you Uber drivers do anyway. I'm not trying to come off rude, but. I, can you hold on? I didn't even put my seatbelt on, sir. For someone not trying to come off as rude, she seems to be doing a horrible job at that so far. And this lady hasn't even been in the car for a full 60 seconds yet. It's literally been 30 seconds, and there's been nothing but complaints coming out of this person's mouth. I'm actually amazed at how much you found to complain about within that time frame. Just an overall stellar first impression so far. Can you please? I don't feel comfortable not wearing my seatbelt first. Can you, like, slow down? You in a rush? Because if you're in a rush, I'm going to panic. This, this right here is loose. This this almost poked me. All right. It's, you, this is broken. It's probably from my past clients. They were probably rough with the seatbelt. You know, well, you need to uh, fix that because that could have stabbed me. And I wouldn't be happy if that happened. Oh yeah, because you totally strike me as an already very happy person. This seatbelt isn't going to stab you. I don't think I've ever even heard of someone sustaining seatbelt stabbing injuries. That's just not something that happens. Anyways, if this isn't this lady's unhappy state, then I can't even fathom to imagine what she's like when she's mad. Maybe we're about to find out. Alright, I'm in. Now you can drive. You have the correct address there? Yes. I'm heading Are you familiar with this area, sir? Yes, I am. So how are you doing I've today, I've been in several accidents. The last Uber driver, I was in the car, and he was speeding on a turn, and he hit the side rail. And quite honestly, I am scared getting in these vehicles, but unfortunately, my vehicle was totaled due to a drunk driver. So I'm kind of iffy on trusting people with my life. So. so let me get this straight. Not only have you been in several accidents, but your car has also been recently totaled by a drunk driver. Why do I have the impression that she was the drunk driver in that situation and got her own car totaled? I guess technically she's not lying about it. Her car did indeed get totaled by a drunk driver. It's too hot in here. Can can I lower this window or something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You like it really hot in here, man. It's like I'm in a, the Amazon. It's crazy in here. You're not hot? Uh... Uh, a little bit. Do you have air conditioner? I prefer the air conditioner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold my on. hair's gonna get ruined. Is that better? Uh, if you could please uh, point that a little, the vents towards me, because it's like facing the window that that direction. I think it should be facing me. What do you think? And why isn't it staying there? Yeah, like, the, what? Why did it flip up like that? Uh, <laughs> sorry, but these are loose for some reason. I swear, this lady will find just about anything to complain about, it seems like. It's almost like a sport to her at this point. The seating position, the seat belt, the temperature, the direction the air conditioner is facing in. What's next? Is she gonna start complaining about the Uber driver's face? You don't look happy enough. Why aren't you ecstatic to be driving me? I'm giving you a one-star review for not... With Uber drivers, I'm not saying you're the one that's gonna do it, but I'm saying I've been in the situation before and I don't want to be in an accident. You know, your seatbelt is really tight around my neck. It's, it, it really is tight. Has uh, anybody else complained about this? No, no, ma'am. No, they yes! Huh? What? Well, then take it off. No, I'm not going to take it off. Well, I need this for my protection. Do you want to move to the left side? side? Should it choke me out while I'm in the back seat here? Well, ma'am. Pretty soon you're going to have a passed out passenger over here. You know, one thing is, this thing over here, the, the buckle is, is loose on the back here. This plastic poked me when I got it. You have the seat back hitting my knees, okay? And now... The vent stays up, which I'm not even getting air. It's like, I'm not... I, really, I got it on full blast here. I'm not happy with it's, the, it's the literally 50, vehicle. It's I'm fit, sorry, I'm not it, knocking you. It's, the, it's 53 degrees outside, ma'am. You want to open up all the windows? Not trying, no, I told you. I don't want my hair. I'm going to an important meeting right now. Like, I can't have my hair on. You're having an important meeting at 7 p.m.? What is that your concern? What the fuck I do? Huh? How is it your concern, sir? I'm trying to explain to you. I don't get... I'm not getting any ventilation right now. Okay? And I don't appreciate your smart remark about me having a meeting at 7 o'clock, which I'm going to be late because of you. You showed up late. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make you as comfortable as possible here. Well, you're doing a bad job at it, let me tell you. I think you'd be doing everyone a favor if you just got on a damn bus at this point. And I'm surprised this lady's still taking Uber rides despite the multiple accidents she's apparently been in, which something tells me she had something to do with. Just take the bus. You got no seatbelts to stab you, no air conditioning to worry about, no driver to drive you crazy. It's a win-win for everyone. You men are all the fucking same. Are we? 
got smart remarks for everything. Here's the left right here that you have to take to Union. I'm, I'm taking it. We're going West 22 Union and Hillside, man. Are you giving me an attitude, sir? No, ma'am, I'm not. No, all I have to do is report you to Uber, and so be it. You will be kicked off this, this app, okay? Let me okay. tell you, I've got other people kicked off. Okay. Yeah, I think at this point I'm just pulling over to the side of the road and kicking your ass out. Either that or I'm driving straight into oncoming traffic. I'll very happily take that one star review any day of the week. I'm actually amazed this dude has lasted that long. That right there is the epitome of having the patience of a saint. In fact, give this fucking warrior a raise. Says we'll be there in 14 minutes. Thank God. The quicker I am out of here, the better for you and you both. Do you know what the speed limit is here, sir? Yes, it's 45. So then why... Are you going 50? I'm going 45. You're going 49. 45. I'm just letting you know, I, I don't, I don't like that. I, I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't think she likes anything. No, really, there has quite literally not been a single positive comment that has come out of this person's mouth. It's like she decided that she was gonna wake up that day and find everything and anything to argue about. A very fun and positive person to talk to and be around, as you could tell. But now I'm 100% certain she's the reason all her Uber drivers have apparently crashed. I that's, why, that. that's why I'm complaining, because my knee is hurting! Well, I didn't know that, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know your life until you get inside this vehicle. I'm not trying to tell you my life, okay? But you told me your knee was hurting. Yeah, that's why I was pissed that this freaking seat is leaning on my knee. You have to have consideration for passengers when they get in your car. And you don't question them where they're going, I either. It's literally an Uber. You kind of have to give your destination to the driver or else how the fuck else is it supposed to work? Does she expect all Uber drivers to possess telepathy and extract the destination from her brain like a psychic? You're supposed to give your location to the driver. That's the whole point of paying for a fucking Uber. Do me a favor. Pull the fuck over next, next, next place. I'm not getting, I'm not, I don't want to take it away. I want another Uber driver! Cause all you're doing is running that lip of yours and don't nobody want to hear what you gotta say. Do you want to drop off or you want to keep going to the destination? Drop me off at shop, right? Okay. Fucking gotta get another Uber because of you. Right here, just pull over right here. Over there in the parking spot. I'm not gonna get out of the middle here. Alright. God! Let's just take a moment to give a prayer to that next Uber driver who may or may not be involved in an accident pretty soon. Thankfully, this driver was one of the lucky ones and he managed to survive this dangerous encounter. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap up today.